Hey there and welcome to the shop. Today let's talk about Blue Demon's E4043 welding electrode, some safety concerns, then have a short demonstration of the product. One of the first questions you may have about this product, what do the letter and numbers mean? Filler metals are manufactured into different forms and classified into different categories. In our case, the classification is E, which stands for electrode. Other classifications could include ER for electrode or rod, R for rod, or B for brazing, just to name a few. Electrode simply means the filler metal carries the welding current in the process. Adversely, a rod would not carry the current and is heated by another source. An example of this would be the TIG welding process. Next, we have the four digit number, 4043. With aluminum filler metals, the first position is the most important, which in our case is a four. This digit identifies the primary alloying element of the filler metal. A series two would be copper, three manganese, four silicon, and five magnesium, just to name a few. This means silicon would be the primary alloying element in this filler metal. The remaining numbers are much less important than the first. The second number identifies specific impurity limits of the electrode. Then the third and fourth position together indicate the minimum percent amount of aluminum in the filler after the decimal point. When selecting an aluminum filler metal, it's always best to know the base metal you're welding. In some cases, however, you will not know what material you have. 4043 is compatible with several types of aluminum and cast alloys. Some of these are 2014, 3003, 3004, 5052, 6061, and 6062. Also, cast alloys 355 and 356, just to name a few. 4043 is a very popular choice for welding aluminum. 4043 is a general purpose filler metal that has high ductility and high resistance to cracking during the welding process. Because of the silicon additive, it has improved fluidity or wetting action when welding. 4043 comes in sizes 1 8th, 3 32nd, and 5 32nd. It can weld in the flat and horizontal positions and utilizes DC electrode positive welding polarity. This product can also be used with some brazing applications. Check out Blue Demon's website for more product details and instructions on using E4043. Let's stop here for just a moment before I begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. The welding process can produce harmful light, fumes, sparks, and flying slag, just to name a few. You should always wear the proper clothing and safety gear while welding. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, a welding hood, welding jacket or long sleeve shirt, I would suggest cotton or wool as synthetic materials may melt to your skin. Next, select the proper thickness of gloves, ear protection, and safety glasses. One should always wear eye protection during the welding process. Here's a tip. Many welders will wear a small respirator, like the one seen here. It filters out some of the harmful things floating in the air. The other thing it does is direct the hot air you breathe down and out of your hood. If you've ever welded before, you know the lens can become so fogged you can't see anything. Now that we've covered the safety portion, I'll set up a few test coupons and run a few beads. If you've made it this far, thanks for hanging in there. We're almost done. So I've got some E4043 3 32nd rod. The amperage, the recommended amperage for this rod is between 50 and 80 amps. I've got the machine set to 7475. 
Our material is some 3 16 60 61. I'm going to uh, pat a few beads just to kind of get back in the hang of things and then we're going to uh, do a little lap joint with this 60 61. So let's throw a little preheat into this aluminum because it's pretty thick and uh, let's get this demonstration going. Okay, so this is how the bead turned out. I am decently satisfied with the way this turned out at my skill level. A um, little bit, little bit overfill right here, a little bit underfill right there, and a lot of underfill right here near the end before I before I stopped. But uh, this particular part right here is really bad. A lot of underfill right here. This would need to be ground out and re-welded right there. There's so much underfill. But I got the corners pretty good. Um, this one spot, even though it uh, has a little bit of underfill, is not too bad. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.